odds when you know six true, cards. True, true. It's like essentially seven cards. They're still winning though. I'm like I'm impressed. Even if it, I mean, it is real money, they're playing with real money online. So, oh wow. If it goes well, they get some uh, some sick bank, and if it doesn't, well, yeah. you know they probably shouldn't bet that much in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, they probably should. <laughs> hey, what's your? Uh, really have you seen the new? Uh, the, like I only looked it up today. New Call of Duty trailers and shit for Cold War. No, I haven't. Did they put trailers out? Uh, like a while ago. Like nothing new, but oh, okay. I think the setting looks cool. I'm kind of stoked for it. I don't know if I'll buy it, but I'll at least watch the campaign. I think because it looks like much more like yeah. That's school. that's what I'm yeah. gonna do is I'm gonna watch the campaign. I'm not gonna buy the game though, because yeah. personally, uh, having heard like a lot of from about the gameplay from Stamati, like it just doesn't sound like it's it's a very it's a it is a different game. Yeah, and sure. personally, I'm not really willing to spend money on a trailer game right now. Just I don't know. I they just haven't had a good track record lately. And mind you, it's not saying that this won't be a good game. It's just saying, like you know, in terms of how they deal with multiplayer and handle that, I'm just mm -hmm. not the biggest fan. I've never been a big fan of of them introducing like different mechanics into like already solid uh, game modes. And yes, it does switch it up, but like, dude, you have to have a core set of like game modes that's like, you know, not like, oh, like there's a catch to it. Because you heard what they're doing with search, right? Like search and destroy. Uh, no, I haven't. Like, so, I, I literally, I haven't looked it up at all. Except yeah, so so they search. actually, I think they're axing search and destroy for like this VIP mode where you have to escort one person from end to end. But the problem with that is like, that. dude, that's 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 not the same. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just not search and destroy. <laughs> yeah. Like the I don't know what the thinking was there. Maybe maybe they'll add search in because people are pissed off. But uh yeah, it it just poor decision making like that. It just puts me off. I do that think game. no matter what people hate it right like call of duty is yeah always in the position no matter what you do people are pissed oh of you course keep shit the same they're pissed you change it up they're pissed 100%, like, 100%. and so for example like i guess i think personally with this whole you know maybe they want to push that as the competitive mode mm -hmm. and so they yeah, get yeah, that yeah, like, yeah. You know, but that doesn't mean you should remove to to your point i don't think they should remove search yeah search should just be another game mode the thing about Call of Duty is it has such a fucking massive player base. No matter how many modes you put in, there's going to be people playing them. Oh, 100%. So just give people more choice. Stop making weird selective choices, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm sure I actually, there's development that went I actually that, have but... to do the calcified light stuff. I don't know if you know anything about that. But I, do, I did get all yeah. five on Titan. Uh, yeah, you got the you got the break tech one. I still have to do the one on Mars, but I know that Io has quite a few, and I don't know how to get to a couple of them. Sure. If you want to show me through, yeah, but I like I, I kind of want to grind this out tonight. Like it's all I'm almost there. I only have two steps, right? So. Sure. Not a problem. It's always more enjoyable to do this with like friends. Uh, yeah, let's sure. let's do the hard one first. Young. Let's do Io first because this one has. Rupture, three in Lost Oasis, and four in Giant Scar. So we'll go Rupture first, I think. Man, I'm so excited for Tuesday. Oh, it'll be huge. I haven't I been excited it. for for games in so long. Mm -hmm. But I've always liked Destiny, so it's good. Oh man, Nate, you missed a pretty solid day today, man. For for uh, golf. Yeah, hey, how'd that go? I shot 11 over, which is pretty solid. That uh, is not bad. Hell yeah. The conditions were actually surprisingly good on the fairways. It wasn't as muddy as I thought it would be because, and especially because it is Richmond, dry. right? Dry. Like, but it's also been dryish. Like it, recently, it, right? it definitely has. It definitely wasn't like like last week or, or a couple weeks ago, right? So the mud wasn't too bad, I guess. But you know, it, okay. Uh, see, there's one up here, 178 meters. Like, what the fuck is that? How do you even get up there? Like when I look up, Sorry. when I look at the nav mode, it, it, it's like a here. Oh yeah, yeah. That's this one. 
Uh, you go around uh, this way. You have to climb up this thing? No, no, no. This I'm just taking shortcuts. Oh, okay. But the end goal is over here. Which is even by itself a shortcut. All right. So obviously, if you wanted to come the normal way, you come from down there. Okay. And then we keep going. Oh, I see. Uh, and then I think this one is like a weird. Uh, I thought it was like yeah. I, I'm gonna go out of memory here, but I think it's like a. Is it like a forward over there? I think. Sorry. Oh shit. I fell off. It, it's like around the corner here, like over there, I think. Is so it? So go forward. I, I see 36 meters into bottom Ow. still. Uh, check. Ah, uh, shit. I wish I could have checked. So. Let me see if I can shoot it. I think. Yeah, try and head towards it, obviously, and like. Yeah, like Okay, let's you didn't did you go through the teleport? I went through the port and it is giving me like an option to go this way now. Like don't the... I don't think you go through the port. I'm not sure. 20... Oh there's one here. Okay. I don't know if this is the one, but <laughs> Take it. Okay, I've got that one. Oh I that's don't... yeah, so there is one there. Yeah. I don't see the nav anything on nav now. You need the. You're using Braytech, right? Braytech? What do you. Like. Braytech, like the website? No, I'm not. I'm using the actual nav mode. Nah, you gotta Braytech it. Braytech, then European Dead Zone, and then we turn off everything but calcified light. No, it's IO, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Uh. But this is like a website, like I DM'd you. Oh, I see. Yeah. And if you go to the map, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, up right, right, Why yeah. is it redacted? What? Uh, don't know. Don't know about that. I can't see IO on here, or Titan. Uh, where are you? Sorry. On Braytech, I can't. I can't. Oh. Fuck. That is weird. I can't select them either. But I am on. Hang on. But I am on. That's strange. What happens if I do this? That is weird. What? Did they get rid of them prematurely? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny if they did. They might have. That's Fuck weird. me. That's wild. All right. Now I guess we got to do it for reals. All right. Well, so you this... need. Fuck. Where's this map, bro? Is this an ad on my screen? What the hell is this? Oh, here we go. So Io, I've got, I've got number four. Okay, there's two down. Oh, I think so. I got that one. So I'm just gonna jump off of this and not go down further this way into the rupture. Okay. And it's either end of the rupture here. So. Oh shit. That is a fucking far way. Nice room here, man. I think they might be in lost sectors, maybe. Like, Very possible. There were quite a few in here. Lost. Yep. Okay, so I have I have one over here. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, one's over here might somewhere. Might be. Some chest. Not down here. Oh, 55, it's under the ground somewhere. Is it close to me? Uh, how did you get there? Did you go uh, I'll go back to the entrance. I think this is where this one was. I'm so vaguely remembering these things. Oh, you went there. Okay. I'm still like very vaguely. Just kind of like, I'm like, I think this is one I, I fucked up. I think you're going the right way. There's a door to our left this here. Is, so. It's underground by the looks of Wonder it. Boys. Oh yeah, this is definitely it. Oh! Okay. I think it should be somewhere here. I see it, I see it. It's right here. Okay. Yeah, okay, the I map. They, they, I think they did redact the map, which is like That's crazy. crazy. Uh, it kind of sucks because there was a few things I need to grab, but... 
Oh well. I mean, what you have to grab? Uh, ghost fragments, region chests, that sort of thing. Just going for like completion. Uh, oh yeah, this I, I, I did this. I remember this. So I did. I fucking when I first did this, I went like over the fucking corner there. That shit was gnarly. I did this completely wrong the first time I did it. This one's up here. I found it. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, so I'm done in rupture. Now there's lost oasis. Okay, I couldn't find one of them in Lost Oasis. I don't know what it was. It's the one by the, you know, the cliff area? Uh, that overlooks yeah. everything in Lost Oasis. You'll, you'll Kinda, see it. Kind of, yeah. It's, yeah, like I, I know of it. Yeah, like I, I think couldn't I know find that thing, man. It was like bugged out maybe on my screen or whatever. I don't, I don't know what was happening. It was so weird. You're talking to our left here? like the Yeah, side. yeah, yeah. Like all the way down there. So I see the other two. The other two, there's one over. There's one actually down here. I'm gonna grab this one first because it's really close. Yeah, it to should us. be close. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see where this is. All the way over here. Right? So there's that one right there. Oh, this one. And then I have to defeat the marionettes. What the hell is that? Um, near contact missions. There's specific mobs you have to kill. Oh. And they're very, it's very annoying, but also relatively quick to finish. Okay. Um, once you get good at the, like, the combat for them. Okay, there's this one over here by the tree, which I'm going to grab right now. Yep. And then there's that one up there, which is exactly where you were, like, talking about. Like, that place, I don't know how to get to that. Is it beneath me? Uh, give me a second here. I'm just going to grab this one. That horrible interference again. I trust you remember what to do. Oh no, that's oh, almost died. Not quite. Someone's doing the uh It's it's over here, Nate. Like 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 right there. I don't know how to get up there. Oh, it's the tree. Yeah, I remember this one. This one sucked as well. Uh I'm not entirely sure of like the perfect way to do this shoot i learned the trick after but i wonder if i can cheat it again uh, give me one sec here yeah let me see if i can cheat this long story short there's a big old tree in the middle of this thing and there's a very specific way to get to that tree Yeah, like, like, like oh, I did the same thing. I ran around it. There is a path. Is it the lost sector? The lost sector. I don't think there is. A... Oh, there is a lost sector. There is. There is a lost sector close. It could be that. Perhaps. I'm gonna run through it then and see what happens. Sure. I'll see if I can cheat my way out. Okay. This is this is how I did it, which is. Yep, okay, I got over. <laughs> oh, wow. How do you... Yeah. What did you do? Should I throw in stompies? Let me... Oh, no, here it is. It's... I, uh, yeah, this is exactly how I remember it. It's, like, oddly obvious. Uh, Alright, I'm standing by the entrance. Just hop out and hop on your okay. speeder and roll around to me. I felt like an idiot after this, and I'm sure you will, too. Oh, my God. And uh, turn to your left and go in. What? Yeah, I know, right? I Dude. didn't know this existed either. I I spent so long wandering around. I just googled it. I think. Stupid. I know. <laughs> the thing what is, is like, it's not even. I can't even feel bad because it's, it's not like it's not like they hit it or anything weird. It was just yeah, like that's, a door. But that's it's a little so further annoying. out of the path I looked. I was like, well, I gotta head straight uh, towards it. Well, the last four are giant scar, and then pretty much the rest of them are just five only. So it's pretty. Oh, that's good. Giant scar. Okay, these ones. Okay, uh, so there's one in the base. I know how to get to that one, I think. Cause... Yeah, okay, these there's ones. One up there. Do you have to jump oh. up there? The uh, sorry, where? It's up in the right corner right there. Oh. Uh, no, I think it's just. Uh, it's like a little 
some small jumping puzzle on the inside. We just go here. through here or something? Oh, there's one yeah, just... really close to me right here. I think we just go inside and then up. Uh, I'll stand by the doorway. Okay, there's one over here. I'm gonna see if I can get to this one because it seems like it's close. I hope. Okay, this one's close. I know how to get to this one. You, uh, you have, you have Disney Plus? I don't. My brother does, though. Did you watch uh, Mandalorian? I watched the first season. I used my free month on it. Then I killed. Ah, okay. Dude, the second season is pretty solid, man. Is it started already? How many it has, episodes yeah. in? Ah, uh, there are two episodes in. It's only been two weeks. Okay, okay, these ones I think are outside of this base in this big, like... I know, yeah, so one, as I said, one should be up in that corner maybe? Yeah, Is yeah, that where I got that one, I just got that one. <laughs> okay, the one that I remember that was bullshit, um, I think, was... There should be one close to where I am now. Yeah, there is. There's two there. Uh, so the one that fucked me was, like, you literally have to go like, up into this drill. Like, pretty well you'll figure it out you'll see it very fast but you have to go up that drill very aggressively oh yeah like okay. somewhere in here is where it is i can't remember exactly i i'm pretty sure that's where i see it, it i see it it's like right here yeah okay there's one in here now too it's in the cave for sure yeah that one's yeah, it's, it's pretty cave. straightforward there's something special about it oh yeah these guys, are, these guys are gonna zer <laughs> oh there's one right, right by zer bro yeah, oh, I did. missed that. Okay, so that's three. So the last one's over here somewhere on that side. I'm assuming it's probably on the drill too. Yeah, Maybe. Good bet. It might be inside the cabin, one of the two. I'm gonna hop up here just in case. Oh no, I see it. It's right here. <laughs> yeah, All it's right. weird. Aya was done. So we have to do Mars and Mercury now too. For sure. To break tech we go. They make it like almost confusing because some of them are like oddly obvious and some of them are just fucked. Yeah. You're man. Just kinda like, I'm gonna I don't know if this is just a fucked one or I'm just an idiot. And you're yeah. always thinking that when you're looking for them. So there's okay, so oh wow, Mercury looks chill. Mars looks pretty chill too. There's one right there's three of them in, in the future scape building. Like Bray Tech Future Scape. And then there's two in the glacial drift. Titan I already got, so it's just Mercury and Mars, and I've done this step except for the marionettes, which I don't really know what the fuck that even means. Yeah, we'll cook up with those. Uh, Shouldn't be too bad. Sounds good. Okay, so these. Okay, these are going to grab these first. Yeah, I'll hang out. Let me know sure. if something's uh, fucked up, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll hop in. I think I've just found two of them actually. This is chill. I did like Mando season one though. There's, I think, fair critiques of it. Um, oh, very fair. It's a lot quieter sure. but, uh, in the city. I think just as a show, it was enjoyable. I don't miss all the it was drama. fun. It, and I, I said it before, but I have heavy critiques of the new trilogy of Star Wars. I have um, very heavy critiques of that. <laughs> beyond, we should get into thing that is, in a bit here. Yeah, for sure. I'm down. It's just the thing is like, but I guess my my thing is is. There's a difference between, how would Feels I put it, a critique of the new trilogy and a critique of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I guess there's there, there's almost like two elements where you can have Don't a bad friendly. story and ha still have a good Star Wars film. You yeah. know? Yeah. Like, it's it's a style, it's a genre, and it is cliched and troped. It's steeped in tropes. Han Solo oh, is 100%. a trope. You know, Luke Skywalker is a trope. Yeah. Um, so there's nothing wrong with any of that. It's just more an element of how do you implement those things the same way like marvel marvel is a trope marvel does yep marvel marvel storytelling is shitty but it's still the group one watch agreed i stand by that um and there's you know, obviously you have a goal when you set out these projects and i don't think the new trilogy reaches that goal big time uh, uh i think i don't know if, if you agree with me on this but personally Mm -hmm. I think that they really wasted the potential with with Ray's character arc. Yes. I, I just it, it it just it just felt like it was a Disney character arc where 
she doesn't quite face anything crazy. She's a Mary Sue. Uh, yeah, I stand by Mary she's Sue. a Mary Sue. It's like she's great at everything, anything she does, she's the best thing. Yeah, and, and, and I everybody think... likes her, whether she does the right thing or the wrong thing or anything in between. Exactly. It's still just the best. Yeah. Uh, personally, I actually think Adam Driver carried the series. Adam Driver plays, sorry. Kylo Ren. I think he carried yeah, it. Yeah, I think. I, I, think I genuinely he think uh, he that did he a carried very it. good job with that character. And that character was not very well written. Again, like, that's the thing is, I feel yeah. like. I, I don't blame any of the actors. No, or me neither. Actresses. The, the, the writing. I feel like the writing and the. And partially, like, like again, it's like, I. I'm not like I don't believe in just shitting on a series, no, in the sense that like you know they switch directors twice between three movies. Exactly. Like what the fuck are you gonna do? It's fucked up. But still, exactly. you can look back a lot and say, yo, that really fucked everything up. Yep. That really made the direction unclear. The character development wasn't clear, like wasn't well defined and um, yep. smooth. The. Uh, the changes in thematics were so confusing. You know like what? That, and I think for the biggest example I've had of that is the whole um, shoot the sla It's like the slave scene, or it's like the casino where they're betting on horses or Dude, not horses. That was like, so it, dumb. It was like, what was the point of this? Like, if this was Can part of the major thing? plot point. Like, Can I just yeah, say one thing sure. too for episode eight? What the okay. was, what was the point of that like total like sub arcs or that sub story where like Finn travels with like all like this like Rose girl and like a couple people yeah. all the way to this yeah. planet to get bum fucked for nothing. Like literally nothing. Like they go it, it's something like they had to go do something, but then like it didn't matter in the end. Because they, they like worked the way around. Yeah. Like, on the other er, in the other character arc, I was like, what? Like, and the thing why, is, is why that, would you give us this? And, and to be fair, I like I under like I feel like I can understand the intention, right? Like they're a rebellion. They tried something. It failed. They're disappointed. Yeah, but it wasn't man. given the right character beats. It wasn't given the time or the if it, yeah. it, if it was important that they went to do this thing and failed, it should have been emphasized. Like exactly, that was man. frustrating, disappointing, infuriating. Yeah. Instead, it was kind of like, well, we did this thing. People are shitty, and uh, yeah, oh, we failed, and uh, yeah, well, and, and, yeah. <laughs> so it was like, like well, well, uh... then I don't care. Like, like you said, like, can we just not cut this twenty-minute piece Dude, from the there movie? Was the other thing, the other problem I had with that movie too, with uh, Last Jedi as well, was the whole and and listen. <sighs> There are so many things in the movies, like when you really like pay attention to them, like and look for the details. Yeah, that are just total bad. like yeah. remasters of what of scenes in like the old ones. No, like, you, you don't even like, have to look hard. The entire yeah. but the, but like, the weird thing is, is that they copied a plot, but then made for episode changes seven, to... dude. For episode seven, it's literally episode four. Yeah, like, but then oh, they no, also they have their base. We have to blow it up with this one one fatal flaw in this. Like, okay. Great, thanks. I've seen this movie before. I don't want but to see it again. I Bye. honestly, I would like to see it again. But if you do it well, fair enough. Like, write the, if you want to write the same plot, write the same plot well. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll, um, I'll take that. I'll take that. I think, you know, Star Wars is even Star Wars, for example. Everything's ripping off everything, right? Oh, like Star Wars is a rip off of like. Uh, you could say Odysseus or like you yeah, could say yeah, yeah. You know, Star Wars. Like it's taking pieces and bits from everything. Yeah. Um, if you want to rewrite the fourth Star Wars, rewrite it. Awesome. Go for it. But don't don't try in ham fist politics or oh like, man that like oh. the like and, and the thing is, for example, like I have no problem with the main character Ray being a girl there's no problem with that because the character the, the it does like literally if you took luke skywalker and made luke skywalker a girl yeah it's the same fucking story it's the same, yeah you can tell the same story um and you can even add like you know bits of maybe gender politics or identity you can add that stuff in that's cool that's great yeah there's no argument like obviously girls are treated different than men and vice versa there's no reason that can't be part of it 
But if you yep. start fundamentally changing the plot to wrap around either gender politics or politics in general, you're not writing the same story and you're doing the original story a disservice. Exactly. Uh, unless the core element of the original story was politics, which it was not for Star Wars. It was a <laughs> space adventure, a light-hearted space adventure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say beyond that. It's like you take a light-hearted space adventure and turn it into uh, women are mistreated or misunderstood or something. And it's like, well, no, it's not going to transfer. It's not going to make sense. And in fact, it ruins it and makes it uncomfortable for people to watch. Yep. Not because the topic is uncomfortable. The way you approached it was disrespectful. Yeah, it's just... They're, they're... The other thing, too, okay... And this is for this is Rise of Skywalker, like the last episode. Yeah. I yeah. I, I absolutely despise how they wrote the end of Luke's character. Like Luke's, I absolutely, Luke's I'm character so is just a disgrace. Just it, a disgrace. So of Star Wars legacy. He it's is so bad. He's so age. disciplined. Like later on in his his character arc, like in the canon of it, it's and, just... and to be fair, I, they did. I will say they took inspiration from the extended Star Wars universe. Like yeah, they where, did like, for sure. But but like his attitude and shit, and that was just like I was like, what? This is not Luke Skywalker. I'm sorry. Even Mark Hamill said that. I was like, no, that's that was what's that. I will say, like you just said, that was super disappointing. When even yeah. Mark Hamill was coming out saying. I don't really see Luke doing these things. Yeah, man. What he ha and he has to act it, man. He has to go to the set and pretend. It. <laughs> yeah. Like, and you know that they pick like in his case probably the worst cut. Like maybe he gave five or six different performances, and they pick the one that just makes Luke seem like the most disgusting, yeah, like heartless, bitch. just a fucking loser, just a straight loser. Yeah. You know, Anakin Skywalker, a piece of shit. But his but character I never thought really he was well. a I loser. Actually, yeah, man. I actually, you know what? A lot of people, um, they shit on Hayden Pantier's. Uh, he did. He did have. Okay, he had ups and downs. I'll give him that one. There's, like the, especially the love sequences. Okay, man, those were bad. Man. But like, but, but like the, besides the that, man, it was anger, he's like actually a great was, Sith. Like I amazing. Will say, the third episode, the anger he displays, Dude, he's just, he's pissed. He You're he like, whoa. It, bro. Okay. He, he kills he it. Did. He did. Honestly, I think he's. A, I think he is a good actor. No, I. I, I think I he's agree. fine. And and personally, I, I think that, I I think that the prequel trilogies get way more hate than they actually deserve. Like, dude, <laughs> what else can you really pack in episode one? What else? Like, yeah, I get I... it. The midi are stupid. Sure. Episode like, one bro, and Jar Jar. Oh, I think. Okay, I think yeah. that and... can definitely Welcome. be removed. Like that. Oh my god. I think. I think maybe this is to the point I was trying to make originally, is that episode one is not a good movie. It's not. It's terrible. Um, but it feels Star Wars, it and does. part of that is nostalgia. But part yeah. of it is also, and I can I can give a couple examples here. So it's shitty because Jar Jar's stupid. Don't have him in it. It's stupid because yep. Midichlorians are dumb. Don't have it in it. Uh, yep. Pod racing's cool. Maybe there should have been some continuity stuff fixed up. Uh, whatever. Yep. Um, but it's like, so but it television. feels like a space adventure. A Fundamentally, what Star Wars said. was was a western, a western in space. Yep. Uh, Let with Brother or Vance or a, even beyond a western, a Greek a hero, a hero story. You had it was a combination yeah. of both. Yeah. Han Solo being the western, and you had Luke being Odysseus a on a, a long journey to come to a conclusion. Slow. And they yeah. played off each other, and they made the that journey work, and they moved through it. And I would say, what darkness. boggles my mind is I, I would have to go what back and watch I it again. I but, tried to and I, 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 this point, now we lie by the way, is I'm going to make a very specific point, but I feel like it permeates the entire new series. Faith okay, wait, 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 hold, hold on. I'm, I'm listening to Zavala real quick. Faith in the light. Faith in you. How we? Oh, Traveler's Chosen. That's a cool gun. Really I guess, fun. Though. I guess. Great on is... Warlocks. Oh, that completes that quest. So now I have to do growth. Savathun's marionettes. Anyways, Nathan, 
continue. Where are the aliens? Hmm? And when I say where are the aliens, I don't mean, you know, we see aliens. We see, like, you know, for example, in episode, what is it? Nine or something. What's that Stand person with, with the lightsaber? Body. The Ray talks to the big, you know, she's got the goggles. Oh, Mata Mata? Sure. Right? We see her. Yeah. But where's the Maz Eisley canteen? Where are the aliens in the background? Where is the space adventure? Oh, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with it, you on that 100%. It feels, it feels like we're fighting on... It, it feels like Battlestar Galactica, where it's... Or, no, I'm sorry, maybe not Battlestar Galactica. But it's just, it feels like humans fighting humans yep. all the time. It doesn't feel like space. It doesn't feel like a galaxy. It feels like yep. there's a like stormtrooper versus stormtrooper, or... Human versus human. Where are the aliens? Where are the aliens? Straight up. And then beyond that, it's like, like I said, like that's a very specific complaint. But I feel like it permeates my frustration with, you know, like I said, I don't think the first three movies are good movies, but you see aliens. It's it's fantastical. Yeah. Right? It's a it's a, an experience to watch. You know, uh, you fucking even uh, even that fucking what's the council? They're sitting around that chair on G and Dosis and they're talking about shit. And there's like eight different aliens there, and they all get like spotlight. And you look at them yeah. and you're like, oh, yeah. this feels like a universe. This feels like a different place. You watch yeah. the new movies and you're like, you could you could just you could essentially wipe out all the aliens. Uh, like you could just remove them from the movie and you still have the over, movie. <laughs> take them over with people, and it's still the movie. What yeah. what is the point of the space setting? What is the point of Star Wars, a galaxy far, far away? Exactly. That that frustrated me. Beyond it's, it's... beyond bad writing, beyond plot devices, beyond acting, Dude, beyond anything. The writing what was, was just, the point? I think, I think that the writing honestly was the worst part of it. And, I agree. And, and here's the thing: like, I can take. Okay, look. You don't want to have aliens in it. Whatever. Okay. No, give I us, see. Give us Luke, okay, like that as well. It's just a fucking, like really, you know what I mean? Like, like yeah, really? like like you just you just had to just fuck everything. That's that's what I'm saying you know though. I mean? Like like that's just from like a a, a a critical perspective, of like a movie. The writing's the worst thing, guaranteed. Hundred percent. But from a Star Wars film, I think oh, it's oh, I'm, I'm I'm with you on that. You too. know what I mean? And I am a very almost... hardcore Star Wars fan, and that it it does hurt to like. Why is there Watch no Moss Eisley three, canteen? Yeah. Why is there no yeah, it, like? Why are there no? That's it? honestly tough, man. Like I, I, I was pretty pissed off about that. The other thing <sighs> being too, okay, dude, they tried so. Why did they try so fucking hard to make it funny? Like that one opening scene in Episode Eight where where Poe flies up to the uh, Dreadnought ship and he's like talking to uh, General Hux and he's just it. Like the acting there is. I'm sorry. Like yeah, these guys are decent actors, but holy shit, this is cringe. This is, this is crazy. Yeah, like like no one, no one in the original trilogy it, would 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 even entertain but this I guy's think, convo. No, 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 no. I I disagree. I just well, I I don't totally disagree, but I think it's I think it goes back to what you said about the writing. Yeah, I think the character. I think it's very clear in between each of the movies, the characters changed. Yeah, like Poe definitely becomes more callous, more or not callous, uh, callous like in the sense of like gung ho, yeah, yeehaw, like we'll make it happen. Like cowboy, kind um, of what's it? Uh, is it Poe? Poe like the yeah, Poe becomes more like serious, reserved. Like he becomes the leader, right? Mm -hmm. You you can see that, or, or more should I say, you can't see it. You but you notice it in between each movie. Yeah. So you're just supposed to pick up on it and be like, oh yeah, yeah Poe's more serious. Or, um, oh, sorry, what's his name? The black dude who Finn. the uh, Finn, like Finn's more gung ho, yeah, Ray more like... wise or something. And it's like, but they didn't show it. Yeah, they didn't show it any didn't, of that, and that's what I mean happen. by character development, like, though, right? Like in general, but it's and, just... and then beyond, it's like, but the, like you said, oh. it all goes back to the writing. It does. Like how. How are we supposed to know any of this if it's not on screen? If it wasn't written, and if yeah, it wasn't written, like, how are they supposed to act it? Like, yeah, the, you know what? You know what? I, I honestly just, I think that they really got off on the wrong foot with episode seven, just stealing the plot again from episode four and rehashing oh, it. Oh yeah, then, that and then was here's, miserable. Like, like the plot, sure, that sucked. But like, with in terms of Ray's character, 
it was just it, like oh look scavenger girl finds a lightsaber oh look she realizes she she comes to the realization that she's force sensitive but she has zero training or control at oh, any point in episode don't seven. even get me started she on beats Kylo Ren. Fights. She beats don't Kylo even Ren. get me started dude she beats I, Kylo I, Ren though it, i lost my sh i watched the first movie and the only thing i said that movie was pretty good how the fuck did she win yeah well I, you know what nate you know what's funny she wins all every every encounter with kylo all 15 of them she wins them all you, do you know that <laughs> yeah, she wins like, every I don't, think I, with I don't think I knew that, but I'm pretty. I'm, she I'm wins every encounter. Somebody, though. there's a guy on YouTube that actually covered that and like literally highlighted the fact that she wins every single encounter. There isn't any point where like Kylo has an upper hand or like has or she has like this you know conflict which actually forces her to grow. Like in, in for example, Empire Strikes Back, arguably like the best best of the original trilogy by it in a too. lot of people's books. Look, Luke I, I'm loses be... the fight against Darth Vader. And, and he, he learns something loses, from He loses an arm. He, like, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. But none of that. Like, Ray, it's like, oh, look, Ray showed up. <laughs> Mary guess Sue. I, guess I'll just Mary roll over Sue. and die. Guess I'll, forget, guess I'll forget, like, all the years of my, like, Jedi Knight training and all the dark side training from this Master Snoke, and I'll just roll over and die. <sighs> like, what the hell is that? I'm sorry. But, like, regardless of writing, regardless of where the plot goes, regardless of any of that, no. Just, just no. Just, just no. And I, and I stand no. by. I, and to be fair, <laughs> I think. Um, well, actually, let me Google this real quick. So, let's say, for example, uh, Marvel. Uh, by the way, I have to do this. These marionette things now. By the way, so I just brought us to IO because it said it said uh, uh, kill them on IO and Titan. Uh, check where. Check where the you have to go to contact event is. I think it's on Titan this week. Okay, sure. Let's do that. Uh, Marvel Studios is superhero. No, I need I need the Marvel. Wait, what, is it Captain Marvel? Uh, let me let me just uh, real quick go to the washroom. Be back. Yeah, 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 that's all good. Captain Marvel release date. Damn, it's not even close. Guardian down. Yo, Nate. Yo. Um, you know one thing, another detail I just wanted to mention, that just, For sure. just, it basically sent me in the theater, like, when I saw it, I was like, alright, this movie's over. Mm -hmm. We, we got a, we got an insider tip from an Imperial Mole. It's fucking General Hux. Yeah. I'm not here to help you, I just want Kylo Ren to lose. Really? Really? Just, why? 
And then why? he dies for it. It's like, why would you risk why? your life? Like, just... Why? No, that, that didn't Energy make yeah. Why? Again, bad, <laughs> bad writing. It's like, Time what kind of a character are you? No. It was garbage, man. Like, I couldn't believe what I was watching when I saw that. I actually the got thing, angry in the theater. The thing, like, I, 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 the thing is, I remember, I remember when he popped up and I said, like, yo, I, I was thinking he better not be a mole or a double cross. Like, yeah. let him be like an actual villain. Like, mm -hmm. make something of this. Mm -hmm. And then he turned out to be a mole, and I was like, well, that was just so uncomfortably, predictably unpredictable that I, I don't know what to say. I just, I, I, yep. okay. Cool, yep. I guess. <laughs> like, like I was, just, I wasn't angry. I was just disappointed. <laughs> like the actual. Well, I mean, at, at that point, at that point in the movie, though, like you, you really couldn't. There wasn't much to be like, you know, proud of. Honestly. No, no. But that's what I mean. Is it wasn't even like they was like they were doing well and then they fucked up this thing. It was like, no, this is just part of the Yes. So. And, and here's the thing Destroy too. Destroy them, is, uh, guardian. What was all this crap like where they literally had the Knights of Ren like this so hype and then at the end it's got wrecked? Yeah, they literally, and also they literally garbage. Eat ass. Like, what and, the fuck? And garbage choreography. Terrible not, choreography. Not. What the fuck was you that? Seen, you've seen the, uh, I'm sure you've seen the clip of like where the Knights are literally swinging at nothing. Like, oh, they're just. Um, well, mind you, that's not only in the last episode, right? That's also in episode 8 where uh, th Snoke's throne room. Where they're fighting you know what like, that uh, is? Praetorian guards. That, no, that's what I'm saying. That sorry, I wasn't talking about the Knights of Ren. The that choreography and that snow for Yeah, the garbage. Terrible. And the thing is, is it's not the other people. It's whoever's playing Ray. And the problem is, is she's just, just not experienced. And the thing again, it's like you can't blame her as a person. She yeah. doesn't have experience fighting with a lightsaber. And to that point, if you look back at the old trilogies, and there's interviews of like um, whoever played Obi Wan, I forget his name. Uh, Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor. Love that guy. And he's, and he's on. He's, he's on getting, Graham. He's getting a series like Mandalorian, bro. Directed oh, by the same he? person. Directed by the oh. same person. It's confirmed. Oh, thank God. It's confirmed. Is, I'm is so Taika? excited. It's got to be Taika, right? Taika's both, I think. He's, he, is, did Taika Watiki do Mandalorian? Uh, no, it was uh, it's uh, oh, Deborah Chow. Deborah, Deborah Chow, and it's oh. written by John Favreau. Who's, oh, uh, he's happy, yeah. and, happy in, uh, in Iron Man, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, was, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh great director, God, great, great, great director and great writer. I'm so glad that they did There's, the um, like, Have you seen the clip of the Norton show, uh, Ewan McGregor? No, I haven't actually. I, oh, actually, I might have seen that clip, yeah. Uh, let me... Is, is that the one where, like, he's showing off the skills with the sword? Yeah, yeah. Yes, the thing yes. is, like, this, I, I've literally this, watched that video. Yeah, this is like years. I if I remember correctly, it was like years later, and he still years remembers. Later, he still remembers. Yeah, because because it's they like trained he, for he it, spent so much time practicing the choreography. Yep. And then for whatever reason, like again, it's like no, like no disrespect to the actors, right? Like Finn or any of these people. I'm sure they could have got it, right? Or, or um, oh, they could have. Yeah, the, you know, enough time, enough training. It's like it's not like Ewan McGregor just picked it up day one, but they didn't have for whatever reason they didn't have it. Yeah, they just they didn't have the time or the training, and it doesn't look good, and it, it it's very disappointing compared to what you know what existed before, right? Like it's just it's just sad to watch. Yep. Um, also, that's not where you get the marionettes. Uh, where did you? So they should, okay, I've been trying to find them. Uh, they're usually located around the contact event, but I'm not, I, I have to look it up actually, I'm not sure. Uh, the, all the ones I found were located near the contact event. Mary well, I found a guy that was literally just standing there like, and he had like a aura around him. And pets swarm our that might be the guy. Uh, you can also look at them and I should say Mary. Wait, Savathun's pets swarm more containment unit? Is that... Uh, I'm coming over here, I'll take these. These guys are part of the event, though. They're not part of the event, right? Do they have a shield you can't break? No, I can shoot these guys. No, that's not. Uh, you're looking for a guy where you can't break the shield. Uh, as far as I go, this is what this is. Titan, I do you want to start with Titan starts circling the building with the witch's ritual public event. Mercury around the entire building. Is it this guy right here? 
like this thing right here? This like see what's No, nah, that's the uh, that's the bonus. Um, okay. That's what you do to get the heroic. Uh, oh, I that. see. Uh, let's see. Uh, work here on the entire building. Oh, Nate, usually... by the way, since we're on, on Star Wars topic here, uh, Lego. Yeah, I feel. One Lego second. Did... Oh, yeah. There's one set of night bosses that only lose any of shields. Yeah, okay. Long story short, we need to run around. I apparently don't know the specific location for these guys. We're looking for two enemies with invulnerable shields. The only way to lower their shields is to get them close together. Okay. That's a marionette, and it will say marionette in there. So run around close to the contact event, kind of in a big circle, and we just have to hunt them down. Uh, unfortunately, I checked the spawn locations that I know, and I have So I'm not quite sure what's going on. Interesting. Uh, and the guide only says, like, check the building around. Well, that, so. uh, anyway, sorry, go ahead. You were saying oh, Star uh, Wars is a top. Lego did a Moss Eisley Cantina set mm. uh, recently, and it had like a bunch of characters. Holy fuck, man, that thing's expensive, but I bought it. <laughs> nice. Hell Dude, yeah. that's the one Lego set that I've been wanting as a, like ever since I was a kid, and it finally dropped 15 years later. That's such a great. I can't believe it took them so long too, because it's such a great Dude, kit of like amazing kit. I, they've classic. Done, they've done sets of it, but it's only ever been like one table with like two characters in it, like Han and Greedo, obviously. And like, oh, like we'll add in like the bartender guy this time. <laughs> but then this year they finally came up with a full thing, like the entire building, the full bar, got like 22 characters in it. It's, it was good. I haven't built it yet though. Hell yeah! Total geek. Man. I was gonna, uh, I was gonna say too, like, uh, just on the Star Wars vendor, like, I have like a thing. I just, I'm so, I with a lot of people, I think, just so frustrated with gender politics or any sort of politics being pushed into a film. And like, I was wondering, like, Captain Marvel is released like 2019, right? But it gives me the same beats as Ray's story, where. It's about a woman who can't, like, they can't be vulnerable. They can't lose. Like we were talking about, it's like, they can't lose. Because to lose would imply, well, I don't even know what it would imply, but apparently it would imply weakness, I think. Yep. Uh, that's not acceptable versus, like, Han Solo or Luke or somebody else can lose. You, characters have to be able to lose. Like, that's part of the, you know, the hero's journey, the cycle, the... Yeah, but Nate, I, I don't know. but Nate, in this day and age, we're literally looking at, like, neoliberalism taking on no, fascist no, no. principles. It's just... And, like, I, and the thing is, I just don't care about so much of that. And when people start writing stories we that are so garbage like this, this I actually start <laughs> Like, I know there's such a shitty... Sense. But like no, you understand I, what I mean? It's like, on that. I, I, it's like I'm like, hey, that. believe what you want to do what you want. But when your clothes. your politics yeah. start affecting the ability of a person Maybe to write a good story, with that. I I am upset yeah, because I like stories. Like, exactly. When it like I don't understand why every story has to follow that same formula. You know what I mean? It's like oh, we we have to include this as like a character, or or they get back or we'll get backlash. Like what, dude? Who cares? It's a story. Or just swap, or just I wasn't aware that character. every single story needs a like falls from like the same tree. You know what I mean? Like what or the like, fuck is that? Odysseus can be like or, like my point is Odysseus can be black, a woman, like whatever the situation may be. But it doesn't change. Like if you truly a good story, you can swap a person out and it's irrelevant. Yeah. It can be any race, color, gender, yep. person. But it's that's not. That I would, unless again, like unless that's the purpose of the story, that was the focus. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Odysseus yeah. could be anything, and it's still the same story. Yep. He still did the same things. He still had to go on a fucking odyssey. <laughs> like, I, I don't, I don't understand why. Why do we have to take something like Star Wars? Recreate it, 
And then instead of recreating it with different characters and different people, recreate it and then change it. Yep. What's the point? Where is the end game? It's... <laughs> the Golden Age harbored Sour powers beyond days, imagination, no, no, and yet they that. fell to the collapse. No, I think, the thing when is, the like, what can you say, right? It's right. like, I, you know, I somebody might disagree. No, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. Like, that if somebody disagrees, like, it's one of those things where I don't think I have, I have very many strong political beliefs. Yeah. But when it comes to stories like that, I, I'm so frustrated with the way they're treated these days. It just yeah. makes me upset because I just want to watch a movie with whoever in the lead role, but with no politics behind it. Yep. I agree. Yeah, I hate this movie in a few years. Uh, I'm still looking for these marionettes, by the way. Too. I don't know like, what they look like, though, to be honest. They they have like that like you know that invulnerability like white black shield. Yeah. Like it's a shield you can't break. It's okay. usually like white colored and black colored kind of mixed together. Okay, yeah, yeah. So like that's what they have, but it should be near like usually. Overlord like, captain. See. No, it, it'll say it says marionette. Like their name has marionette in it. <laughs> Marionette farming. Yeah, you need players need five fifteen. See what the odd thing is is that I have one of fifteen. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen these guys. Like, no, they they look they kind of look like a regular enemy, but they definitely have marionette. You want to start a rig on Titan? Start circling the building where the witches' ritual public event take place. Work your way around the entire building. Usually you'll need to defeat a sort of mini boss in order to have a marionette appear. Okay. Uh, so we need to defeat we might need to defeat a sort of mini boss? No, I missed that what the fuck is that? Okay. So I'm killing a sentry servitor right now, I don't know if this is actually gonna do anything. Just do it. Any sort of yellow health bar? Blast it. If it's not part of the if it's like outside the event area, just get rid of it. And then maybe it'll spawn a marionette. Okay. Kill this other one here. He's almost dead. He's dead. Scavenger chest. Oh, well, this is the building where that witch is contact or which is which is. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. We've been running around the right. Area. Like this is literally what the article is describing. So we need to find a mini boss, maybe. Like those overload guys and like barrier guys, maybe? Is that? Yeah, anything yellow health bar that's not part of the event, I assume, would be considered oh, a like... okay. I haven't seen like any. Taking scouts. Wipe them away before Savathun takes notice. They're not even like on my radar. Like, I don't. No, I don't know. Because, like, this is the building. And, like, for example, right, like, I, uh, I don't know if you're with me here. But like where I'm standing, I've seen marionettes spawn. So like I know that this is like the area. I don't understand. Hmm. Uh, so usually you will need to use bots in order to have the marionettes appear. Right, those sort of mini bots. That. Uh, Unyielding uh, servitor. The thing is, like, it should be near the content. Usually they're very separate from each other, to make it clear. Maybe... Eh, yeah, fuck it. Try this. This should be the heroic contact events. Um, oh, this guy. Fuck this guy up. Oh, wow, he actually fucking one-shot me. Oh, Champion defeated. Alright. So what if I leave that alone? Let's go hunt it down. Uh, let's see. What's that spot? Is there, like... Maybe I need to do more research on this. Bang! 
Take off line. Oh. Ticket signatures all over it. Fine. Oh no, I thought I did. They spawned in the same location, but that made it bullshit. Yeah, take a peek. Uh, you can buy something. Like I said, like for me, it was kind of lucky. I just kind of wandered around, got some marionettes. That was it. I don't know what's going on. The same right though. Okay, I type in Sabathun, and Sabathun's marionettes is the first thing that comes up. So obviously, I'm not the only one having trouble with this. No, this is a different problem for sure. Dude, I've checked like every fucking outside area. Dude, this shit ain't right. I think, Nate, there's one here that spawned on me. Alright, I'm coming over. I was checking my game. He spawned 80. Wait, where did he go? You found the same info I did. Yeah, I have this up here. It's neat. Like, they spawned your contact events. Like, yep. Figure it out. Kill the chain. Okay, this taken Pyromaster guy. So, yeah, it does have to be heroic, I think. Where's this script point, bro? Okay, 
Okay, two out of fifteen, right there. Yeah. What? I okay. Then I don't. I don't understand. I don't know what. Yeah, I to. killed one of them, but that was like. The I I rolling. literally had, like marionettes spawning outside of the conduct event, and then I would go kill like two of them, and then run away and do it again. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't know if they changed it because it was too easy to farm, or they're looking for marionettes like in contact event now. I I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, let's head to. Let's yeah. just do it one more then. then... Might grind a um, bunch of these tomorrow during the day. Because this is boring to do. Just like people yeah. used to tell stories just, about dude, this I'm place pissed, during the like, dark age. I'm telling you, treasures buried like, in the uh, methane. Stuff so like that. Go, Did the drifter ever chase any like of these example, stories? Like this, nope. if I go this direction, right? But a big yeah. crew lost 20 I wave crawlers out there. Four marionettes. It wasn't from no storm. Right here. Like right where I am. Like in this corner, they, there's four that spawned and I killed them. Wow. <laughs> that's uh, so nice. Yeah, I know. So that's what I'm saying is like, are they just. Is it just not a thing anymore? Or. Like. Like, I don't, I don't I understand. Think that maybe I, perhaps at certain points, uh, at several points throughout the uh, contact event, they, they show up there. Group together, maybe? right? I, I don't know. I don't. Like I said, I don't understand anymore. I don't know what uh, what the situation is. What's this? Is this for contact event? That's the start. Let's do it. Fuck it. Yeah. What were these? Mini bank on route. Put your mean sure. faces oh, okay. There was a guy the that was doing that was getting us an opportunity to further understand its intentions. Okay. So, Seize it. Uh, you want to come into uh, my well, by the way, yeah. so I can get a uh, charge in a sec here.
bones of the Witch Queen. Protect the contraption. Wait, there's one right there. Guardian oh, down. Let's stop. Thing is, they look like that, but they definitely seem very yeah, dead. They're, they're, they seem very dead. Yeah. It's weird. It's just like, uh, like I said, like I've seen them. They're, I've seen them in this specific situation. I don't know why they're not spawning. <laughs> Show of strength. Okay, so the marionette. 
I came up after this guy, or at some point when this guy was up. So yeah, so there should be a marionette spawn. We have to drag them together, and then so like for example, there's one on the left here. So there we go. So we need the boss and him to close. Man, the marionette is like a similar system to that, where you have, have an shield, the shield, yeah, you and have the to them together, but I normally you can find them outside of the don't understand the question. Like a Big old snake oh, swimming geez, around tight. Maybe, maybe oh, which oh, sucks, oh, because the grind for you is going to be... Know something yeah, like does does it. right it's now. not no, a snake. For sure. Uh, With your definitely symbols, I would have expected you to know that. Yeah, I'm going to probably grind it out tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure like it's that's not the case. Like maybe that was glitched or whatever. But yeah. if it is the case, um, yeah, shit, man, it sucks. <laughs> yep, that's all good, man. Whatever, I'll, I'll figure that out. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna hop off, man. <laughs> uh, sounds good. I'm gonna peace out as well. I don't yeah. know what I'm gonna do. Bye -bye.